All right, welcome back, guys. My name's Joey Mello. Just wanted to build off of the vestibular discussion that we had on the last video. So after someone is treated for vertigo or benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, we look at the inputs for balance because usually there are some balance discrepancies. So we have three sensory inputs and one musculoskeletal input for balance. Your primary sensory input is vision, which um, is out of our scope of practice, but we advise their vision to be assessed by a, a doctor. The second is your proprioception. Your proprioception are uh, nerve endings in your joints that tell your brain where your body is in space. So for your feet, it primarily functions for where your feet are, if the surface is soft, if there's incline, decline, so that's adjusting for weight shift. Uh, the third component is vestibular. And the vestibular component is usually affected after someone has vertigo. So if you imagine, you have two vestibular organs in either ear that work together as a level. And if that level is centered, the bubble is centered. If that level is not centered, then the bubble then shifts from side to side. And that could create balance discrepancies. Those balance discrepancies then can reflect uh, with movement, particularly when vision or proprioception is involved. So like if you're walking outside in a poorly lit environment, or if you're walking on grass or sand, something soft, where the vestibular system then needs a little bit more input, or if your head is moving through space. So if you're walking and talking with a friend, or if you're looking up at the scenery as you're hiking, that could create these discrepancies in balance. And a lot of that is because both ears aren't working together to create that nice center point. And so my job from that point is to start to re-educate that vestibular system. And that vestibular system can be educated through two main groups of exercises, habituation exercises and gaze stability exercises. Habituation exercises are based off of movements through space. So sometimes we have um, the feeling of imbalance or uh, instability associated with movements, like if we're tying our shoes or if we're reaching up into the cupboard, and that's all positional, our body against the effect of gravity. The gaze stability side of it is basically recalibrating the vestibular system to uh, center the system so that when we're moving through space, we know where our midpoint is. And, and that all has to do with that level system. And so those gaze stability exercises are associated with head movements, body movements, as we're moving through space, as well as static. And that's what we're gonna go through on the next video, uh, each exercise one by one. All right, if you guys find this information very helpful, I'd hope that you guys go and check out our Instagram page at balancedptmove or our website at balancedpt.com where you'll find some more information on what I'm trying to teach, the vestibular side, or some of my colleagues on other aspects of PT care.